So you've been lied to about walking and weight loss. Ever feel like you guys are walking thousands of steps per day, but you're not getting the results when it comes to your fat loss. You feel like you're not losing weight. You hit a plateau. You're walking 10, 15, 20,000 steps a day, especially as you get older and you're like, what do I do? So today, what I'm going to be doing is breaking down four common myths that I see 90% of people make when it comes to walking and weight loss. And I want you to stay tuned to the end because I'm going to be sharing with you guys what to do to build muscle, lose weight, increase your metabolism, and get sustainable results when it comes to your weight loss. I'm all for it. I like to just dive right in, but a short backstory on me. I was age 13, 180 pounds. I got down to 90 pounds with an eating disorder. I actually spent five years bulking back up to 180, straight power lifting, building my physique. And I spent nine months, I cut 50 pounds, but did it in a way to get sustainable results when it comes to my weight loss. So if I tried everything, I've tried the steps, the cardio, I was a marathon runner. Um, I did the power lifting, the bodybuilding. And I'm here to share with you guys, you know, what works to get you guys lasting results because we're not into the yo-yoing. So we're going to dive right into it, guys. So when it comes down to it, walking does have a lot of health benefits, but there's a lot of other aspects that come at play when it comes to losing weight, but also building muscle because you guys can lose weight, but if we don't have enough muscle and we're not doing the right thing with our calories and our nutrition, you may feel like you're left at that like skinny fat appearance. So we're going to break it down. We're going to go right into it. Here are my top Three, I actually made four myths when it comes to why walking may not be the number one when it comes to weight loss. The first one, we all hear this, more steps, more weight loss. Here's the deal. Increasing your step count, it feels straightforward path to weight loss. Like, But the thing is, is without adding that intensity or that variety to your routine, you may hit a plateau. So you may realize, okay, I am starting my walking journey. I hit 5K steps. Now I'm pushing it to six, seven, eight. I'm losing weight. I'm feeling good. But then all of a sudden, your calories are low. You're at 10,000 plus calories a day, um, 10,000 plus steps a day. You hit a plateau. You don't know where to go from there. So the first myth, and I'm going to, guys, I'm going to share with you at the end exactly what to do to overcome each of these myths. But the first one is thinking that by increasing your steps, you're going to continue lose weight and reach your goals. But the problem is, is it doesn't always work that way. Fat loss is not linear. And with the other tools I'm going to be sharing with you today, you'll be able to overcome these plateaus. The second, walking, it burns more calories. So when it comes down to it, there's other factors that we want to kind of throw in play in order to burn more calories. For example, if we're adding different intensities to our, we're walking uphill, we're changing our speed. These are different ways to change up the intensity, burn more calories, and keep you guys going on your fat loss journey. So if you're walking on a flat turf and you're walking a very slow, steady state, in the beginning of your weight loss journey, yeah, that may be enough. But as your body adapts to that, you need to continue to kind of change up that variety and add that form of progressive overload. And this way, by adding, I would say, walking up a hill, changing up your pace, adding in different intervals, these are great ways to kind of change it up to increase that intensity and burn more calories. Another myth is going to be, all you need to do to lose weight is walking. And relying solely on walking for weight loss, it can be really misleading for lasting results, especially for my woman over 40 dealing with hormone changes. We really want to make sure that we are getting enough strength training into our routine because once we hit age 38, we can start perimenopause that early. It lasts anywhere from five to 10 years. If we're not focusing on the strength training, especially the progressive overload, increasing that intensity, building more muscle, 
Then what happens is in that type of change, because of our shifts in our estrogen and progesterone, testosterone, you are losing muscle at a rate of 40 to 50% faster. So if we're just focusing, especially for my women over 40, on cutting our calories and then just going step, 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 steps, cardio, 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 we're not focusing on the muscle aspect more muscle, higher metabolism, and getting you really that body composition effect that you want. And this is something that I actually address with all of my clients in my 90 day transformation challenge. And I'm going to kind of share a little bit more about specifically what I do to help you guys reach your goals without just focusing on steps. But I am so excited. I have to throw it out there. It is starting May 6th. And I am now officially onboarding clients for my next 90-day transformation challenge. And I shouldn't even call it a challenge. It is more of a program because during these 12 weeks, I not only customize everything to my clients based off of if they're home, if they're in the gym, to their metabolism, but I teach them everything that they need to know over those 12 weeks so that they know everything on gut health, hormones, how to eat out when traveling, pre and post workout nutrition, every struggle, sleep, stress, anxiety, that would have been a thing keeping them from reaching their goals. I address it so that after the 12 weeks, they have all of the education. They know what to do for their body. They have the confidence. They have a completely balanced lifestyle because of the fact that I customize everything to fit their lifestyle. I have clients training just three days a week from home, losing over 20 pounds in eight weeks, eating more food, building their metabolism, falling back in love, getting rid of fear of food. They're able to be a better mom, better wife, and have more free time for their self because we do all of these extremes and it's not about these extremes. It's about, okay, your body is different. We have different hormones going on. We have different gut health aspects. This is what we're allowed to do with our lifestyle, with our work schedule and finding that perfect balance to get you sustainable results. And if you guys are ready to take the dive into your health and transform not just your body, but your mind and your life, I am truly, I go all for it. Guys, I, I struggled for so long with so many health issues. I was in your shoes that I really make this the program to transform everything. I had the eating disorder. I know the fear of food and I am there with my clients every step of the way. I want you to head to the description below. I want you to fill out my questionnaire. I will be in touch with you in the next 24 hours to set up a call to see if we're that perfect fit for my upcoming 90 day transformation challenge. And I will say one thing, six months from now, you could be either six months closer to your goal or in the exact same spot you are now. And a lot of you guys are so busy with your life. You do nothing for yourself. You give to everyone. You say yes to everyone. So I ask you, when was the last time you did something to make you feel your best self? Simple. We're going back into it. The lie you guys have been told about steps for weight loss. So we kind of uncovered three main, 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 main. Main myths, I'm gonna break them all down and tell you guys step-by-step step what to do. So as I mentioned, a lot of us, we go into our weight loss journey. We start increasing our steps. We're getting outside, we're walking, we're at this more slow intensity, steady state. We're adding in steps in the beginning, we cut our calories and you may initially that you're losing weight. But what happens is your body actually adapts to that caloric deficit and it also adapts to that current amount of steps. So what you do is you guys stop losing weight you guys cut your calories more. You guys increase the steps more. Now you're working 10, 15,000 steps a day. You're on low calories. We're not sleeping good. And we have to make sure that we are looking at other aspects to keep you guys losing weight. As I mentioned, doing things like changing up the intensity, adding in hills, adding in intervals. These are great ways to kind of burn more calories and keep your body guessing. And especially for my woman, we, our bodies are meant to do this low intensity steady state. And we're not meant to do at the same time, these hit crazy interval workouts, chronic cardio all the time. We have to find that perfect balance. So I like to incorporate, you know, getting enough steps so that we're not sedentary, which is 5k steps a day. And I'm going to link a whole video that I did above here on steps, how to walk to get shredded, how many steps you need, all of that. But 
our body, we got to find the perfect balance of getting enough movement in the day. So we're not sedentary, but also adding in those bursts of interval trainings and changing it up to shock our cardiovascular system and burn more calories without stressing out our hormones. And then a big other aspect that I mentioned is we also have to look at our strength training because if we're just doing cardio all the time or what I see so many women do is cardio strength training. I call it, you're taking 30 second rest periods. You are doing like just tons of reps, 15, 20 reps. You're not giving your body that true strength training to build that lean muscle mass, or you're changing up your program every single week. These aren't the things that are going to get you your results. They may have worked in your twenties or if you're a beginner, but as you hit your 38, 40 plus, and our hormones are different, your body needs to be training different. We have to work smarter versus harder. And then one other thing is we do have to look at our nutrition because a big aspect that I see so many women not get is enough protein and the right amount of macronutrients. We have our carbs, our fat, our protein, and then we have calories. They are not equal. We have to make sure we're getting enough of specific nutrients, especially that protein to maintain, build the lean muscle mass. And it even has a 20% thermogenic effect on food, meaning you are burning 20% of those calories to break it down when it comes to protein. So I tell you this, if you're just focusing on the walking, stop there. We got to look at number one. This is all things that I customize to my clients, by the way. I set their steps. I set their cardio. I tell them how much. I set their macros for them. I teach them what to eat at every single meal to mask their metabolism. If they're out at events, trainings, all of this I cover in my 90-day transformation challenge. So I just wanted to hop on today to kind of overcome this lie of if you just walk, you're going to get results. There's more to it than that. But it's not about you need to be doing crazy cardio every single day. I wanted to bring that strength training aspect in there, talk to you guys a little bit about nutrition, and share with you how too much cardio is not always the result. Your body adapts to it, and then where are you going to go from there? If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe. I go live every single day bringing you a new video here on gut health, hormones, fat loss, fat loss over 40, and everything on a holistic new a holistic fitness perspective. And if you enjoyed this video, I highly recommend checking out this video now. It is going to teach you everything on how much to walk to get you shredded. I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.